Welcome back to Elan Brain Changing Movement. Today I'm going to take you through a 25 minute upper body class, mobility and stretch class that focuses on the neck, the shoulders and the upper thoracic. So when you're ready, get yourself organized, take a big deep breath and enjoy the next 25 minutes. So you're going to look left for me first, slightly looking down with your chin touching your left shoulder. I then want you to start signaling your right arm up and down as if you're waving. You're going to do two of those before changing that into a front position, thumb facing forward, up and down. And then bring that arm behind you as if you are shaking someone's hand, rotating the shoulder in and out, palm facing down and up. Bring the head back through to the center, looking left and right, just to recuperate that neck. And we're going to move through the other side. So chin goes down to the right shoulder. We wave that left arm twice up and down. And then forward twice before pulling that arm behind us and rotating that shoulder. Good. Bring that neck back through to the center and look left and right a couple more times. We're then going to work through that upper cage, that upper thoracic cage. So you want to push the bust out and then do the opposite and slightly hunch through the upper back. Push out the chest, slightly hunch or round that upper back. A few times, however many feels good for you. We're going to then add in some arms with this. So bring your arms out as you hunch the back. And then reverse and open those arms up as you push that bust out and that chest out. You'll notice I have palms facing down as my arms come out. And I reverse palms facing up as I push my chest out. Let's do a few more of these to really open up that upper cage. You'll also notice that I try and tuck my tailbone under when I'm slightly hunching through my upper back. We're then going to turn that into a circle. So as you bring your arms out, rotate those shoulders in a big loop, ending in that arched back. So it's a hunch, bring the arms up and around into an arched back. Let's reverse that the opposite way. It's like slamming a ball down on the ground, picking up that ball and slamming it back down. Big deep breaths as you arch and hunch that back, getting some movement in that spine. Let's do two more here. Nice big circles. We're then going to move into some shoulder shrugs. So I want you to lift the shoulders up towards the ear, then push them down away from you. Let's do a couple of these before we get our neck involved in that movement. You're going to bring the left ear down to the left shoulder, shrug up and down, and try and push the right hand away slightly further out from you. Then change sides, slightly pushing that left arm away from you. Then just move that neck, bringing your ear down to each shoulder a few times left and right before coming back to a neutral position. Then you're going to shake all of that out. So you're going to keep your toes planted on the ground and just bounce up and down, bounce those heels up and down. Let the arms go floppy, let the whole body shake. You can sigh, you can breathe, you can scream, you can let everything out here. We're then going to move into some sensation squats. So I want you to run your hands down the back of your legs, grab your ankles, and then bend the knees as if you were sitting down on a chair. Pulse a couple of times before standing those legs straight back up, running the hands up the front of the legs. Get a nice stretch through those hamstrings as you are straightening out those legs. Let's do about five more here. And I want you to add in slight neck turns. So as you bend down, you are looking to the right for two. And then you're going to switch and look left for two squats. Just to get some vestibular activation happening there. couple more here. Really enjoy just that stretch, that sensation, and that movement. 
We are now going to imagine you are about to hit a, a ball with a baseball bat. So bend at the knees, slightly tuck the pelvis under, and you are going to swing your arms that are straight out in front of you from left to right. You're going to get an amazing stretch all the way down your back and sides here. We are just going left and right, keep tucking that tailbone under, getting the movement from the knees all the way up through to those shoulders. Let's do about five to 10 more seconds here, left and right. From there, you're going to place your hands on the hips and add some hula hoops. So grip those toes into the ground and you're going to circle those hips, creating some movement in that lower back and the hip joints. Then reverse that circle, rotating the other way. Let's go for about five more rotations here. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Stand up nice and tall. Reach your left arm or slide it down your left leg. And then take a big circle with your right arm. That's going to give you a stretch all the way down that right side. Then you're going to come and stand up straight. Reach over to the right, sliding that right arm down. Big circle with the left arm. And we're going to try and repeat this move about six more times. So sliding down that left side, circling that right arm, coming back to a neutral stance. Sliding down the right side, circling the left arm. It's such a beautiful stretch down either side of that body. A few more here. Now remember, some of these moves are going to feel quite foreign to you if you've never done them before. But stick with them because we are building new neural input and we are mapping new movements in the brain, which is exactly what we're after. So now as you reach over to the left, I want you to slightly dip under an imaginary line and then slide up through the right side, coming back to a neutral position. Slide down the left leg, swing that body forward, slide up the right leg. It's almost like one of those car sales floppy people <laughs> dancing in the wind. That's what we're after. Let's go one more on this side before swapping sides. Now we slide our arm down the left, come forward and slide back up the right. Let's do a three more here. Beautiful. Coming to stand back upright. You're going to cross your arms or grab your hands onto your wrists. Push your elbows out and then drive them back in, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Squeeze shoulder blades, push shoulder blades apart. Squeeze shoulder blades and push them apart again. When you do push your arms out next time, I want you to push out and bend over, stretching all the way down the back of the hamstrings. Going slightly floppy in that lower back and you are just going to wiggle the legs side to side creating some nice mobility and stretch through the hamstrings, the hips and that lower back. You can move here however feels comfortable for you. I like to move in a bit of a figure of eight with my arms like I'm drawing an imaginary figure of eight. That creates a little bit more stretch for me through the sides of my body. Let's do a few more movement patterns here as we're bending over before we grip those toes into the ground, have soft knees and slowly come back up to stand. Well done. Take a little breather and a break if you need it. You can pause this video as the remainder of this stretch will be down on the mat. So head down onto all four and what we're doing is we're going to start by arching the back. Then you're going to hunch that back and then come back into a neutral position. Here, I want you to kick out the right leg and the left arm and hold that in balance. Bring that back in and we're repeating that move. So we're going to arch the back, hunch the back, and now do the opposite leg and the opposite arm. Kick out the left leg, point out that right arm. Beautiful, let's do that two more times. Nice and stable when you are on that one leg and one arm. Last one here, push out, 
come back to a neutral position. Then I want you to take that right arm all the way underneath the left for a beautiful stretch through that right shoulder blade. Big deep breaths into the hips, into that shoulder blade. Open up that space between the shoulder blade with your breath. Coming back through to a neutral position and swapping sides. Left arm tucks under. Rest your neck and your head down onto the mat. Breathing deeply in between the shoulder blades. Imagine trying to breathe space in between those shoulder blades. Beautiful. Last big breath here. Coming back up to a neutral position. You're going to spin yourself around, laying flat on your back. Pull the knees up into your chest. And just rotate around the base of the lower spine. Move however feels good here, taking some big deep breaths down through that lower half of the body. Big belly breaths. Rotating through those hips before we get some movement in that lower half of the body. So arms out to the side for balance. You're going to drop both knees over to the right. Bring the knees back through to the center and drop them over to the left. This is a beautiful stretch for that lower back. Just make sure those arms are planted down and the shoulder blades are planted as well. Now you'll notice here that I'll add in some neck movement. So as my knees go over to the right, my neck will go to the left. Just to create a twist through that spine. You can try that yourself. If that's too much, then bring that neck back to a neutral position. A few more here. Really enjoy that stretch down that lower back. Coming back through to the center, hug your knees back into the chest. Then you're going to kick out your right leg, grip onto that left knee and swing that knee over to the right side. Start circling your left arm for me in nice big drawing circles. You want to always try and keep your palm facing up. I do move my neck a little bit here. You can either keep that straight or try and follow that arm or that hand around. You're then going to reverse that circle for me. We're aiming for about five circles one way, five circles the other. Beautiful. Taking that neck over to the right side. Big stretch here. Breathe into that left hip joint. And then move the neck over to the left side. Another big deep breath. And coming back through to the center, we're going to do the opposite. So you're going to straighten out your left leg. Pull that bent knee in. Take it over to the left side and circle the right arm. Nice big circles through that right arm. Let's do three more here, palm facing up. Follow that neck as you circle for a little bit of movement and then reverse that circle. If this is too much movement, just slow that circle down or make it a little bit smaller. Taking a nice big slow big breath here in a stagnant stretch. And then move that neck over to the right side, getting a nice twist through that spine, breathing deeply into that right hip. Coming back through to the center for me, hug both knees into the chest. And then you're going to open the knees into a circle. So we're opening and closing into hip circles here. Nice flat back onto the ground. Rotate through those hips. Reverse that direction. Circling, breathing, enjoying that movement through the hips. Good, a couple more here before planting the heels down onto the ground, lifting the hips up into the air and activating the glutes. Now you're going to kind of swivel the hips here from side to side. So imagine you have a tail like a dog and you are wagging your hips or wagging your tail. It's going to feel slightly awkward and weird if you haven't done it before, but it's such a beautiful stretch down through those hip joints, down through the side of the body. 
I will change the angle here for you to see me, but you guys just keep practicing that move. Dropping in and out or dropping those hips, like wagging the tail. Swiveling, pushing into the left and into the right. Let's do a few more here. It does take a little bit of time to get used to this move, but it's such a good one. And then what we're going to do is really activate our glutes. So you are going to drive those hips up and lift up the right leg. Place it back down on the ground, lift the left leg up like you are walking with high knees. What I want you to concentrate on here is keeping the hips completely still. That means you're going to have to activate a lot of different stabilizing muscles. Let's aim for another three to four. Good. Activating those glutes. Perfect. Placing that bottom back down and opening up the hips. Heels together, open those knees. Big deep breath here just to reset that body. Then we're going to start to add in a little bit of rotation through the shoulders. So bring your arms up 90 degrees with the palms facing up just above your head. You're then going to rotate those shoulders, palms facing down towards the hips. Ideally, you want to keep those elbows on the ground the whole time. Just rotating through the shoulders and just work with the motion and the range of motion you've got here. Good. Let's aim for about six more here. Rotating through. Five four, three, two, one. Perfect. You're going to come and sit up and we're going to stretch through the upper part of our shoulder blades. So I want you to bring your arms under your knees and cross them over on your shins. That's going to give you a nice locked position to push your back out into a hunch position and get a beautiful stretch through the center of those shoulder blades. You can wiggle from side to side here, breathing deeply into that space in between the shoulder blades. Reset yourself, straighten that back up and then let's go again. Hunch that back, try and spread the shoulder blades, breathe deeply into the shoulders. Relax the neck. Sitting back upright, perfect, well done. So we're going to go through a little arm strengthening sequence. You can either do this with your legs in a cross-legged position or legs out straight, whatever's comfortable. So first bring your arms out to the side, thumbs facing up. You will then touch the arms or the hands above the head. Bring the hands straight back out to the sides. And then your next move, come above the head and pull down like you're doing a lat pull down. Come above the head, back out to the side. Let's do that again. Above the head, lat pull down. Above the head, out to the side. Beautiful. Let's keep going here. Let's aim for two more before holding those shoulders in a 90 degree. Last one here. Now hold 90 degree, rotate the shoulders forward, palms facing down, and then back up into the air. We're going to aim for about six more here. Rotate forward for five, forward for four, forward for three, forward for two. Last one, rotate forward. Good, come back up. Now you're going to try and draw a C shape, rotating the shoulders, drawing that C with your hand. Aiming for around eight in total here. Keep rotating. Three to go, three, two, one, bring the arms above the head for the next one, and you're going to start lassoing those arms. Let's aim for about eight to ten lassoes here before rotating in the opposite direction. Keep the core nice and strong. Because we are in a seated position here, it's going to test out the hip joints a little bit and that lower back. Good, reverse. But when we are reversing here, we're going to do bigger circles. Nice big lassoes. This is where you're really going to start to feel the strength in your arms kick in. Keep going. Beautiful. Stretch that all out. Lean forward into those hips. Stretch the arms out and that lower back. That lower back did a lot of work holding you up. Perfect. Keep stretching. Wiggle from side to side. Breathe that out. Well done. You're doing great. 
sitting upright, let's just stretch out those arms. Interlace the fingers at the back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, stretch out those arms. Look your neck up towards the sky, down towards the ground. Perfect, then over to the right. And then over to the left. Good. Before moving into our next stretch. Staying in a seated position, you're going to take your right arm over to your left knee and grip on. Your left arm stretches over to the right. Beautiful big stretch here, breathe deeply. We're then going to start to add some slight movement here by arching the back and hunching the back. I will try and show you from a side view here. So it's a little arch and a little hunch. You'll notice that my arm moves with me. This creates a lot of different movement and stretches in lots of different places. Then we're gonna make this bigger. Touch the left hand to the right knee and open that up as far as you can. You'll notice my neck and my eyes follow along with my hand. Touch the knee and open the shoulder. Still keep that right arm gripped onto the left knee though. Beautiful, good. We're gonna try that on the other side. So left hand, right knee, right arm stretches over to the left. And then start adding a slight amount of movement in there. Hunch and arch the back. Just a little bit to start with to make sure that brain feels safe in this movement before we go into that bigger movement. Now that bigger movement is touching the hand to that opposite knee and then opening that up as far as you can through a twist. Follow that hand along as well and that neck, creating some movement in the vestibular. This is such a beautiful opening stretch and twisting stretch for your spine. Keep at it. Let's go a couple more. Breathing as we do it. Well done. As I said, these are foreign moves. All right, come and sit with your legs outstretched. Now here's another foreign move. You're going to try and pull one leg shorter than the other. Drive the hip back, shortening the leg. Drive the hip back, shortening the leg. Good, let's do this a few more times. It does feel slightly weird, but we are really helping to move the hip joints here, the femur bone in that ball and socket joint. Good. Keep moving and then reaching forward, stretching out. Now I want you to try and do this as you are reaching forward. You're going to get quite a stretch here in some unique places. So you pull that hip back, shorten the leg. A few more times here, doing really well. Good, let's do about four more. Three, two, one, well done. That should feel strange, but good, hopefully. Now wiggle those legs out, slam the knees down on the ground just to create some movement through those nerves, the central nervous system, before sitting upright. Now you can either choose to sit with the legs outstretched or cross the legs over, and we're just going to get into some forearm stretches. Straightening out the right arm, swivel that wrist so that the fingers are down towards the ground, palm is facing out. Grip on with the left hand to those fingers and then you're just going to turn your wrist left and right. This is going to create quite a big stretch through that forearm and also the hand as well, which is important because we don't tend to stretch our hands out in this range of motion. Good, let's do a few more here. You're going to keep your wrist in this flexed and open position with the palm facing out. And then what I want you to do is turn your right arm out to the right and move your neck away from that stretch. So you're bringing your chin over to the left shoulder. Now imagine you're waving at someone, waving goodbye because you're not looking at them. This is going to create a neural stretch. So it's called a nerve floss in that arm. Bring it back through to the center and let's try that other arm. Left arm, fingers down to the ground, grip on, rotate through the wrist. We're aiming for about 10 or so rotations here before bringing that left arm out to the side. Fingers continue to face down towards the ground. 
turn the head away from that hand and then start waving that hand behind you creating a neural floss in those nerves which can help to relieve neck tension shoulder pain and tightness beautiful couple more here bring it back through to the center and relax you've done so well we are going to finish with some eye exercises just switching on that brain so what i am doing here is bringing my thumbs out keeping my head straight and with my eyeballs i'm flicking my eyes between my left and my right thumb in and out what does this do well one your eyes are a massive muscle in the body so we need to exercise them Having strong eyes can help you with mobility and movement. Your eyes are the hierarchy of your brain. So with this next move, what I want you to do is with your eyeballs, look to the right and then move your head to the right. With your eyeballs, look to the left and then move your head to the left and continue. Eyeballs move first, head move second. This can be quite difficult for some people especially because we don't train our eyes but our eyes run our movement so we want to keep practicing these things good a few more here let's mix up that range of motion a little bit you're going to bring your thumb close in towards your nose maybe just a little bit closer than reading distance apart now you can use your other thumb in front of you at a full stretch position or you can look at something in the distance you're going to flick between your thumbnail closest to your nose and something in the distance. And you're going to look in, almost cross-eyed, and then look out. This is really good for your eyes. It's called convergence and divergence and is an amazing ability for the eyes to do and be able to do for brain health. Good. A couple more here. You're doing so well. All right, <sighs> that's been a big session. So continue to sit in your cross-legged position, close the eyes, and let's just swivel those hips. I'm gonna rotate those hips. Close the eyes down, breathe deeply. And I want you to imagine that your body is a sieve and you now get to sieve out anything that is not needed in your body anymore. Straight down into the earth, sieve out all of the gunk, all of the unwanted emotions, all of the unwanted toxins. Rotate that circle, sieve the other way. And then what's left is just nuggets of gold. And that is you, my friend. That's all we want to remain inside that body is nuggets of gold. Now shake everything out. Let it go. Just give yourself a good shake through the body, through the chest, through the legs, through the neck and breathe. Take a couple of big deep breaths for me. Know that you've done an amazing job. You've created so much more mobility and movement. And of course, you've done some amazing brain changing movement. So thank you for being here with me today. <laughs>